The road to stardom is a long and arduous path, even just to attain the mark of each celebrity can be daunting. But there are cases that seems to happen accidentally, those are the ones that intrigue me the most. From cases like 2004's American Idol contestant William Hung, all the way to Antoine Dotson's Bed Intruder interview, it's obvious that it doesn't take talent or effort to become a star. The story is not one of those, spanning multiple decades, and mainly shrouded in mystery. This is the story of Mark Wormley. Mark Wormley was born in 1957, and nothing is known from then until 1975 when Mark himself claims he began writing songs. Inspired by singer-songwriters Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, and James Taylor, as well as bands Led Zeppelin, Rush, and Boston, he built up a repertoire of originals he would later perform. He would start recording them in 1977 while stationed at the Marine in Scotland. While overseas, he toured around and played places like London, Amsterdam, and Mauritius. With a demo to his name, he began to send it out to record companies once he returned to the States, but unfortunately that never amounted to anything. Going back into the studio in 1986, he recorded two more songs, Beginnings and Without You. For 20 years, the songs sat dormant, collecting virtual dust until an unlikely friendship would bring new life to them. Enter techno crooner Phil Thomas Cat. Mark Gormley enlisted the help of Phil Thomas Cat after seeing his local television program that showcased music from local Pensacola artists. Most of the programming was music videos and performances shot by Phil Thomas Cat himself. In 2006, the pair began working on music videos for the song's beginnings, followed by Little Wings. On August 1st, 2007, Little Wings would be uploaded to YouTube, the first of a total of eight songs, and would introduce the World Wide Web to Mark Wormley. Several more songs would be given the Phil Thomas Cat treatment. These included Beginnings, shot before Little Wings, but uploaded October 1st, 2007. Ray Days, uploaded November 29th, 2007. Stars, uploaded May 5th, 2008 and Without You, uploaded December 3rd, 2008. The Space Happy Phil Thomas Cat here. And this next music video is by singer-songwriter Mark Gormley. This is a great song. It's very, very intense. And we tried to make the music video that way as well. Here's Mark Gormley and Without You on the Uncharted Zone. It wasn't until January 2009 when an article in Vitagum was published that the world began to know of the music of Mark Wormley. It seemed word of Mark was reaching far and beyond the Uncharted Zone YouTube fanbase as well as his local Pensacola music scene. The surge in unexpected fame was not unnoticed by Mark and he soon gave his first interview. Interspliced with clips of his music videos, the interview is rather amateur. The questions are a name for concise answers, but Mark Romley is pretty informative, if not a bit held back and awkward. Hi, I'm Michelle Carnley, and this is a UZ Special Report. I'm here with singer-songwriter Mark Gormley of UZ and Internet fame. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good, good. I know, it's nice. So, Mark, let's talk about your music. Do you make the morning light? Oh, little wings in flight. Okay, your songs and videos have taken off on the Internet with thousands of views. So tell me what you think about that. Uh, well, right now it's a bit overwhelming. You know, when I, when I did this, I just did it for fun. You know, just something to do. Therapeutic, you know, just good stuff to do. And uh, it's just overwhelmed right now. Do you feel weary? Time is marching slowly. Nothing matters more than little wings in fire. Your self-titled CD has eight songs on it. Which of the eight songs would you say is your favorite and why? Beginnings, because it's the hardest to live live by. It's just something, you know, it's been there 30 years, so I, and it's lasted this long, so uh, it proved itself to me, so that's what it is. you weren't expecting this international fame that you're getting. Um, do you think it'll change your life? Oh no. I just, uh, I needed to learn how to play the guitar again. <laughs> Try to sing a little bit. Um, I just did it for fun, you know. So far right now, I just want to uh, just do what I'm doing now. You know, just hanging out in Pensacola and 
making videos and you know stuff like that. With all the offers that's coming in, um, with everything that's going on, like Jimmy Kimmel Live and some of those things, do you do you plan on accepting any of those? The offers? That is? Not now. Uh, I haven't done any serious playing in more than 20 years. So I need to get my calluses back and start playing the guitar again and le relearn all this music. So uh, if I do, it's just going to be in the future sometime. Okay, we're receiving thousands of emails and comments comparing you to the greats of Led Zeppelin, the Beatles, and, and folks like that. So what, what do you think about that? Uh, well, I'm just a little old me, you know, from Pensacola. <laughs> That's all I want to be right now. Just, uh, like I say, it's overwhelming and I, I don't know. You can't believe all the hype, really. You just got to kind of live it day to day. So what are your plans for the future? Oh. Well, I've got a couple more songs I want to do, and then uh, hmm, start looking for a significant other somewhere. I know she's out there somewhere, <laughs> so uh, that's about it. Okay, now, attention ladies, he's looking for a significant other, and he's going to tell us what he's looking for. Uh, someone who's independent, you know, that uh, independent woman, you know, just someone who... Uh, who I can get along with, a friend, and that's about it. Someone who digs a musician for sure, huh? Well, I, they'd have to. <laughs> uh, you were mentioning a few minutes ago about uh, with the, you know, getting the calluses on the fingers and learn how to play the guitar again and stuff like that. Once you do all this, do you have any plans to record a new CD? Mm, I'm just, right now, I'd like to if I can, you know, get my chops back. But right now, I'm just taking it a day at a time. So do you have any um, advice for anybody out there that might want to get started in the music business? Believe in yourself, you know, if it's there, you know, these days just about anybody can, if you're good, you know, you just got to practice and really believe in what you're doing and if you want fame, then hope for the best. Upon watching his first video release for the song Little Wings, viewers were introduced to what became known as the Mark Gormley power stance. The move, consisting of leaning on one leg, to standing up straight, only to lean on the other leg quickly became a meme. In early 2009, he was featured on G4TV's Attack of the Show, got parodied by Weird Al, and was given offers by Jimmy Kimmel and other big names only to turn them down. Hey everybody, it's Mark Gormley! Wow! Yes, yes, it's me, Mark, Mark Gormley. Gormley. Exactly. Many more people were also creating parodies and covering his songs and posting them on YouTube and other websites. It seemed Mark Gormley was only going to keep getting more attention for his music. Frito Lay even contacted Mark about having product placement in one of his videos, which he agreed to. The video for Sing Me Your Song depicts Mark and a Cheetos bag in space, albeit just a photograph of an actual bag of Cheetos superimposed onto the video. All of the money from this ad placement Mark gave to the Uncharted Zone to help them during a rough financial time. In the years that followed, he maintained relative internet fame, whilst working with Phil Thomas Cat to produce and release music videos for the remainder of his songs. It is important to note that the entirety of Mark's online presence was through Phil Thomas Cat's The Uncharted Zone. In 2010, the last of his videos accompanying his album were released and we were made aware that he and Phil Thomas Cat would be working on bringing you material. In the interview, I showed Mark that he would like to make another album and continue making videos. The internet highly anticipated the release of any new Gormley material, but after several years, realized that his 2010 releases might be the end of the journey. As time went on, people began to forget about Mark and his fame withered along with the parodies and covers. It seemed as though no new content would be released and with Mark being a notorious recluse, there was no way to contact him to confirm this theory. 2014 looked very promising, with a couple of behind the scenes videos with Mark in studio recording new material. Those two videos would be the only update on Mark for even more years to come.
record it. Okay. But anyway, I'll have to try some ruffles too. <laughs> Another promising lead would come in 2015 with Paul Gormley's YouTube channel. Paul Gormley, Mark's younger brother, is a musician and had released two videos through Phil Thomas Cat in 2010. Paul uploaded two songs and a demo reel of several covers of songs to his YouTube channel on May 31st, 2015. It appears to be a dead channel now as no new material has been posted or hinted at. It seemed as though no new information regarding Mark would be published. You're watching The Uncharted Zone, the most important music television show along the Gulf Coast. That is until February 7, 2017, when a video for a previously unreleased track was posted to The Uncharted Zone's YouTube channel. The video for the song together shows a thinner and older looking Mark superimposed onto scenes of NASA buildings as well as speeches. In the video, Phil Thomas Cat claims Mark works really slow, about 20 minutes per session but he was finally happy with the recording that we hear in the video. Along with the change in his appearance, his voice also seemed a lot more mumbled and fans worldwide began to wonder if his health had begun to decline. One important thing to note is that Mark's only documented singing had come from the 70s and 80s. Therefore, it's not too sure whether he still had a singing voice when he first enlisted Phil Thomas Cat to shoot the videos or if his voice had already begun to deteriorate. All speculation of failing health was just that, speculation. Not much news has popped up since then with Phil Thomas Cat stating there are still two songs that they were working on, these being the Space Song and another untitled track. Only they know if these two songs will be getting a release, and one can only hope that Mark's dream of releasing another album is fulfilled. I would like to get more into the Uncharted verse, but for the time being, I have other deep dives I'm working on. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. And uh, we appreciate you, man. Thank you. Well, that's going to do it for the show. I must power stance now. Keep in touch, my friends. And have a cool night.